don't serve. As we can see, I'm starting this cutoff with a number two guard. The reason why I chose a number two guard for this particular haircut is because I took, I took a look at his hair texture and to me, his hair texture looked more medium than coarse. So I decided to go with the higher guard, the two guard over the one guard. Now, as I progressed through this haircut, I started to realize that this two guard may not have been the best choice to start with. Now, you guys know I'm still learning. I'm still putting in my hours to um, get to the point where I could just look at a person's hair texture and be like, you know what? I'm gonna choose this guard for the hair texture. So at this current moment, y'all see me going around his head with this two guard on just attempting to get the cut even all around. I'm continuing to cut the hair. I'm just trying to cut it, get it all even. From a standpoint, you'll see me cutting down in the back area all over multiple times because the two guard was a bit too high. He had certain spots of his hair that were too low and the two guard wasn't going to be able to cut that. I'm brushing it just to try and get a good flow for his hair and then I'm about to begin the taper on the side pretty soon. You see me going against the grain at the hairline because I'm just trying to get those spots that's close to the hairline even with the other spots that are like darker you know what I'm saying or lighter within his head the two guard was just too long and it wasn't cutting it so right here I got the one guard on and I'm beginning this taper and I started with the guard closed and then I just cleaned up a little bit of the chin area and the beard stubble and I worked my way up and I opened the guard halfway and began to blend Now I have the two guard on and I'm just trying to blend up from there. All I'm doing is trying to make a cool little chill transition. Now, if y'all take a look at the taper I'm doing here, I didn't start with a ball guideline. I started with the guard on all the way closed and then I worked my taper up from there. So my tapers, my tapers aren't the, the um, how can I say? They aren't the blendiest. <laughs> they aren't the sharpest looking tapers. I do uh, point that towards the fact that I didn't start with a bar guideline, so it doesn't look like a huge transition. guard on i started with the guard closed and then i opened it halfway and i went up from there those are cool little blends but where the transition just isn't as nice as a ball transition i'm real warmed up with my tapering right here after doing the other side as you can see i'm working through it pretty well and got that two guard on there now. Boom, 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 boom. You see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to knock that guy line out. I had to put the one guard back on there because um, I see that line. And then I put the two guard back on. Just trying to get that a little bit lower. You see it? But look, this is where I realized that, you know what? This two guard it's not even going to have the best transition, but I'll go back to that later. Now I'm doing the lineup. The lineup part, this is pretty easy for me. As y'all know, I learned how to do this on myself. And so I could just knock this out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Get the curve on there. 
Boom, boom. Clean up the back area around the neck. Now I transition to the other side. As I mentioned, I learned how to line up on myself, so this part right here is pretty um, easy for me. I had to switch up my to my other clippers around the chin area right there because these modified GTX clippers right here, them they're very sharp, so I, you really got to be careful with them, and I know I really got to be careful with them. Now, it's time for me to go to my taper in the back area. I start off with my one guard. Open the clippers halfway. Until I get to the point where I have them fully open. And I just try and not, just transition, make a nice little transition right there. As I mentioned before, I don't start with a bald guideline, so the taper effect isn't the um, the iciest looking. This is it's a minute blend. Now I'm trying to just knock out that those dark areas right there. You see it, and I got that two guard on there. The haircut level was still a two right now, so I tried to transition my my taper from that one to the two. Now, lineup time. Now, his lineup, I had to basically create it because you see, you see how it is when, before I, I started to get to it. It was challenging at first, but I took my time. I had to bring the mirror that I had and just kind of trying to make sure I really get this correct, you know, because this is a very important part of a haircut. Make sure I get it straight. Taking my time, I'm looking at it, making sure I visualize what I want to do. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all gonna see the final cut. Let me know what y'all think. Give me a score from one to 10. One being garbage, 10 being like A1. All right, y'all, I really need this because this helps me identify, you know what I'm saying, how my cuts are looking. This is the final result. Boost the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Y'all gonna see more barber videos from me because I really enjoy cutting hair. If you live in LA, you need a cut, trying to get in the video, let me know, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up on Instagram, at 360 Wave Process. Hit me in the comment section. And yeah, 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 Ocean Squad, I appreciate y'all. Another Wave video coming out soon. What y'all think about that back taper? Also, I had cut the hair down to a one because that two wasn't cutting it. And this is the final result. So it's a one with the grain with a taper. Nevertheless, Ocean Squad, deuces, I appreciate y'all.